For time immemorial, musicians have faced a similar challenge. How do we continue to make fresh new ideas? Our favorite instruments can provide a lifetime of satisfaction, but even our most tried and true favorites are sometimes so familiar, so comfortable, and so routine that we start cruising in a sort of musical autopilot, finding it hard to spark new ideas. Sometimes what we actually need is to short circuit the familiarity and the comfort which our favorites provide. The antidote to familiarity is naturally unfamiliarity. New instrument layouts, new sounds, and the new music that is birthed out of experimentation and exploration. To demonstrate the new music that can come from new ideas, I thought today I'd make music using Reason, but entirely with a collection of VST plugins new to me. Native Instruments complete select bundle of contact sample libraries, reactor instruments, synths, and effects. If you're already familiar with the plugins in Native Instruments Complete Select, the concept works both ways today because you'll be seeing how you could take those plugins you love and make new music with them using tools inside Reason for entirely new sounds. Of course, if we're using Native Instruments plugins today, perhaps we should borrow some of their aesthetic in the spirit of altering familiar routines. How about we change the Reason theme to a nice cool blue-gray? And let's swap our fonts and graphics to match. Let's start out in a good, solid starting place, piano. The Gentleman is an upright piano contact sample library with a characteristic sound which is, most importantly, different from what I'm used to with Reason's Radical Piano. The controls are familiar enough. This preset has a jazz hall reverb and a tone control that softens up the piano in a slightly filtered sounding way. I'll put down some chords to start us off. Now, normally, I might go into the piano roll and start moving or adding notes to get a more interesting idea going, but since today isn't about normal routines, instead, let's right-click and bounce in place to render the chords to audio right away. This commits us, in a good way, to the chords and the piano patch settings we have on the gentleman. If we wanted to experiment further, we could use effects or perhaps directly manipulate the waveform. With the razor tool, let's chop up the repetition of each chord. Right-click them and reverse. All right, we have the seed of an idea. There's an almost tidal quality to the music rising and falling. Let's keep that in mind and load up one of Complete Select's most popular synths, Massive. Before I ever dig into the nitty gritty controls of a new synth, I like to explore the factory presets to see what it's capable of. And with Massive, it's capable of a lot. So the first thing I do is check out some sounds, really at random, like this. Okay, now I'm a sucker for short percussive synths like this because they always seem to get good ideas cooking. Let's take a little of the edge off this patch with Massive's Filter 1 cutoff, and let's bring together the combination of Massive sound with one of the best experimental playgrounds in Reason's music-making workflow, Players. Players are new idea incubators. I find a sound I like, like this Massive patch, and I can make something interesting happen simply by transforming my keyboard input using players. Perhaps more importantly, it's usually something I'd never play on my own without them. Let's start with Note Echo. <laughs> okay, well now see, already, there is something interesting happening. Maybe you don't see it yet, and that's okay. But that quick flutter of notes instantly changes my sense of autopilot. Without Note Echo, I usually might be arpeggiating percussive sounds like this. But Note Echo paired with Massive, have done their job in short-circuiting my instincts. And now I'm on to something. The flutter is cool. The pitch rise is not. So let's turn down the pitch to zero. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's make that a musical note length for our song's tempo, and up the repeats to then double our flutter potential. 
This begs for big wide chords too, so I'll add a scales and chords player to help us out. Now let's play the same basic chords we recorded using the gentleman. Okay, so we definitely have a vibe going now, and it's safe to say it's not the kind of thing I sat down to create, which is great. This flutter synth that Massive is doing is sending us in a kind of glitchy direction, so let's explore some percussion options. To do that, I'm going to dig into the Reactor instruments that are part of Complete Select. Reactor is its own modular development environment, in some ways like Reason's concept of patching and combining incremental devices, and in other ways like the Max MSP programmatic method of sound processing. The full version of Reactor is capable of building synths, instruments, and effects. Complete Select is capable of loading those creations using the Reactor player. And fortunately for us today, Native Instruments includes a pretty generous collection of Reactor instruments for us to check out. In the Reactor Factory selection, there's synths like Carbon 2, which excels at atmospherics, Laser Bass, which has a collection of presets ranging from basses to leads and weirder things, and then there's New School, which sort of looks like the child of a Tenorion and Space Invaders. New School is all about glitchy percussion. Check out what happens when I just click play in the sequencer. I'll solo New School for now so we can hear it alone. Each preset could almost be a song starting idea or rhythm for us to build on on its own. But let's hear how this style of percussion sounds with our combo of the gentleman and massive. That is some very interesting texture potential right out of the gate. Let's spin through a couple presets. I like the syncopations and the beat skipping feel to Plus, but you know what? I kind of want even more. So what's to stop us from layering another new school rhythm in here? The answer is, we can. So we'll drag another reactor into the Reason Rack, open it up, and load another instance of New School. Let's pan our first drums slightly left and these new drums slightly right for a stereo imaging effect. And let's check out some presets to see what complements Plus. Okay, I like this one for our pair. I'm even thinking we could do the classic trick of adding delay to drums for ghost note patterns. Let's create a new send effect in our mixer. In keeping with our original thesis, I'll forego my inclination to reach for the echo and instead use Complete Select's delay effect, Replica. And to simplify things, let's select both new school mix channels and send them to a new group channel so that we can apply the effect to the group. Replica is doing its intended job, but we could adjust it if we want to. Maybe we'll change the delay interval to a more straight ahead timing. And it's probably wise to low cut away the deeper frequencies so our complexity is only happening on the snappier parts of the sound. Let's listen with our full mix. Yeah, okay. Now this needs some bottom end. Something round and deep. And I'm pretty sure I know where to turn for that. It's actually another reactor-based instrument, but if you're expecting more video game interfaces, well, you'd be wrong. Monarch is a monophonic synth plugin built on the reactor platform, but regardless of what's going on under the hood, for us, this will add the low frequency anchor we need. Let's add another synth that bridges some elements of our chordal harmony, courtesy of the gentleman and massive, with the complex rhythms of our new school percussion. As a guitarist, my instinct would be to pick it up and dial in a nice clean strat tone and work out some part that uses those compound thirds that Ed Sheeran and John Mayer employ so effectively. Mm -hmm. 
For the sake of new territory, let's put down the guitar and load up another synth included with Complete Select. Prism is capable of many sounds, but to do the rhythmic part we're after in our head, we're probably in pluck territory. Okay, Soft Coda was doing something for me. What might be cool is to experiment with those wide compound harmonies I might have done on guitar, but now using Prism and some of Reason's players. One way to create those harmonies would be to add a scales and chords player, set our notes to just two, and activate open chords. Now we've got parallel third harmonies in our C minor key, but I like a method that leaves more to chance. Let's temporarily turn off our scales and chords, put a note echo above it, set the pitch to plus one, minimize the length, and maximize the repeats. If I turn off all the repeats and activate just one at random, we get a parallel harmony. In fact, the same open third we played using scales and chords is here. But note echo alone doesn't adapt to our key. So if we turn scales and chords back on, but disable chords mode, we'll get a wide harmony that's in our key, but perhaps most importantly, it's not always the third interval of the scale. We've engineered a little happy accident potential as to how scales and chords will shift our note harmony. If we load a dual arpeggio player atop our chain and apply one of the patches, now our soft Kodo patch from Prism is being played via Reason and My Note input to provide exactly what we hoped for. Let's round this new idea out with some drums from Complete Select's Drum Lab. Instead of browsing presets, I'll explore the front panel of Drum Lab's controls to customize a kick. We can try out a different source sample, maybe. Tighten up the envelope. And let's tune it down for a deeper hit. All right, let's add the kick. Hopefully, this has demonstrated one simple concept for you. Leaving your regular routines can be just as valuable as having your favorite go-to instruments and patches on the ready. It might sound obvious once you say it, but the simple act of trying something new can bring about new ideas. If you haven't explored these Native Instruments plugins, they're well worth seeing what music you can make with them. And if you're already a Native Instruments user that hasn't experimented with them inside Reason, well, hopefully you've seen some ideas that you're excited to try out too. So break those routines, and until next time, good luck. <laughs>